Today, I got a pretty exciting video. I'm gonna be taking this Fujifilm X100T out into the ocean with this Sea Frogs housing. Now, I've never actually shot underwater videography or photography even besides, I guess, with a GoPro or like those super old school underwater disposable cameras. Um, but I was never happy with the results that I got in either of those. GoPro is great for, you know, capturing action if you're like surfing or riding a bike or a motorcycle or snowboarding, but it just doesn't have the most amazing look to it. I think it just comes down to the lens and the sensor, but this camera uh, is really interesting. I've never actually used this camera. It looks like a vintage camera, which I really like because I'm kind of a, a hipster when it comes to cameras. And I started photography during the film days, so this is a really awesome design. I love the feel of it. It's like kind of heavy, you got that like old school metal, you know, durable film camera feel. But it's an awesome digital camera that shoots um, stills and video uh, up to 60 frames per second. Uh, just HD, doesn't shoot 4K, but we're gonna test it out today and see what that looks like. What I really like so far about this camera, I like that the aperture is right on this lens here and you just turn it just like you would on you know a manual lens. And it comes with this really cool 23 millimeter uh, F2 lens. It's actually really nice. It has a really nice look to it. Shutter speeds up here. Aperture's right there. You don't even need to go into the menu to change any of that. Well, what's really cool about this camera that I'm excited to play around with is it has film emulation looks in it. Just like, you know, most cameras would have like vivid or standard or neutral. This one actually kind of emulates like old film film looks, specifically film by Fujifilm because it's made by Fujifilm. But one of my favorite films types that I ever used back in the day was Velvia slide film by Fujifilm. And this has got that emulation on it. It's really like kind of bright, vibrant, punchy. It also has on here Provia, which is a great kind of like all around film. And then this one called Astia, which I don't think I've ever used. So I'm gonna play around with that. It's got some really cool black and white modes in here that basically emulate like you're using different colored filters. So if you ever shot black and white, you know, you would use like a red filter or a yellow filter or a green filter to kind of adjust like the contrast, darken the sky, um, make the sky bluer. This has those kind of emulations in here, which just make it feel more like you're shooting film again. Another thing that's really pretty amazing on this, and I don't totally understand if how it's working, but it has a built-in ND filter. And you go into the menu, you can either just turn it on or off. You don't have like a choice of the strength of it. But I tested it out just going outside and turning it on at like F2 and it looked perfect. So I don't know how they managed to do it in this little camera and they can't do it in any of my Sony cameras, but that's pretty freaking cool. Another thing I really like about this is this uh, viewfinder here. You can actually look through and it's just showing you directly through the camera, like the old school way of film cameras. But when you turn this view mode on to view through the viewfinder, it'll switch to the digital display so you can actually see what the final product's gonna be. But it's just kinda cool that you can actually look through it like a normal old camera as well. I like that they allowed that feature to, to be there. But enough about the camera itself, which is it's just an awesome camera. This baby right here is a underwater housing and I'm borrowing this from my upstairs neighbor, actually, Hannah, who was super awesome and let me borrow this and told me I can take it out whenever I want, that she doesn't use it that much. She got it to do surf photography and it's a pretty simple housing. I've never really used a housing before, but you know, the camera just fits right in there really easily and you just shut the door and latch it and that's it. And it's totally sealed up. It's got all of the buttons 
that you need to access the camera, um, all the menus on the top. It has to, you know, to turn it on, to uh, start recording, to take pictures has you know pretty much everything you would need to access in the camera except on this camera you cannot at least that I figured out adjust the aperture because you adjust it on the actual lens itself so you just got to set the aperture and decide what you want first so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out I'm going to do a few different tests with the film emulations first just out around the property here and then I'm gonna take this out into the water. Super excited to go out in the ocean. I'm right across the street from the beach here. I'm gonna go out at sunset and shoot some slow motion, dreamy looking wave shots. Maybe I'll get to shoot some surfers out there too. I don't have any fins. Usually you wear fins when you go out and shoot in the water so you can actually like swim easily while you're holding the camera. Fortunately, the spot that I'm going out to isn't super big waves, so it shouldn't be a problem. This is my first time, we'll see how it goes, and I'm gonna keep practicing with this, and uh, I'm super excited to take it out. So let's, let's go outside, let's get out of the studio.